Hello friends, today we are going to learn the uh, reaction turbine in that degree of reaction turbine. So basically during this session you will be able to illustrate the uh, derivation and uh, what do you mean by degree of reaction for steam turbine. We know for reaction turbines there are fixed and moving blade which are aerofoil shaped while in case of impulse turbine those moving blades are profile shaped blades so whenever steam flows from inlet to outlet let us say from fixed blade to moving blades its enthalpy continuously goes on decreasing here you can see that whenever steam expands from high pressure to low pressure okay high pressure to low pressure over a fixed and moving blade what happens the enthalpy drop downs over a fixed blade and over a moving blade so for reaction turbine generally it is 50% in fixed blade and 50% in moving blade but in actual case majority of portion that is around 55 to 60% pressure drop or enthalpy drop is over a fixed blade and remaining over a moving blade now during this expansion process we see pressure drop downs over a fixed and moving blade while in case of velocity during a fixed blade velocity increases since these fixed blades will act as a nozzle and then again for moving blade velocity is absorbed by moving blade due to impulse momentum action and uh, velocity will decrease then again fixed blade velocity will increase but for uh, in practical case pure reaction turbines are not being used since what we require, we require high velocity of rotor speed with constant uh, rotation. Okay, so that is not been possible with a single reaction turbine. So that is what it has been mentioned. The 100% reaction turbine is not practical use or useful because of higher rotor speed necessary for good utilization factor. And what it means? we need a very high rotor speed and which is possible by use of impulse turbine for impulse turbine we earlier studied that the its rpm is around 25000 to 30000 rpm so by using impulse and reaction turbine we can use the high rotor speed cleared all this so the expansion of steam and heat drop occurs both in fixed and moving blade that is what over a fixed plate and moving blade that is enthalpy drop down from h1 to h3 so if we consider ideal drop that is if you see this it will be in a straight line h1 to i can say h1 dash or h for this case h3 dash okay that is ideal enthalpy drop this is actual enthalpy drop now in case of an impulse turbine blade of the relative velocity of steam either remains constant as the steam guides over the blades or is reduced slightly due to friction we have solved some numerical for impulse turbine in our last sessions in which we studied that the relative velocity over of moving blade is reduced okay that k factor that is friction factor will be always 0.85 or 0.9 uh, percent okay due to which or uh, relative velocity at outlet is less than that of relative velocity at inlet but in case of reaction turbine whenever steam moves over the fixed and moving blade it's continuously going to expand due to aerofoil shape position okay so the steam continuously expands it flows over the blades the effect of the continuous expansion of steam during the flow over the blade is to increase the relative velocity of steam so what happens in the reaction turbine due to continuous expansion of steam the relative velocity goes on increasing and from that we can conclude that relative velocity is greater than it is reaction turbine if it is smaller at outlet then it is impulse turbine so it can be distinguished factor if relative velocity is greater then it is reaction if it is less at outlet it is impulse turbine so let us understand what is degree of reaction so 
डिग्री ऑफ रिएक्शन इज नथिंग बट रेशियो ऑफ हिट ड्रॉप ओवर मूविंग ब्लेड ओके हिट ड्रॉप ओवर मूविंग ब्लेड डिवाइड बाय हिट ड्रॉप ओवर पर्टिकुलर स्टेज सो वन फिक्स एंड वन मूविंग ब्लेड इज कॉल्ड एज स्टेज सो हिट ड्रॉप ओवर मूविंग ब्लेड ओके सो मूविंग ब्लेड वॉट इज रोटेशन ऑफ दैट रोटर डिवाइड बाय टोटल हिट ड्रॉप ओवर अ पर्टिकुलर स्टेज सो आर डी इज डिवाइड बाय डिग्री ऑफ रिएक्शन विच विल बी इक्वल टू डेल्टा एच एम इज नथिंग बट हिट ड्रॉप अक्रॉस अ मूविंग ब्लेड डिवाइडेड बाय हिट ड्रॉप अक्रॉस अ स्टेज हिट ड्रॉप अक्रॉस अ फिक्स ब्लेड प्लस हिट ड्रॉप अक्रॉस अ मूविंग ब्लेड सो द हिट ड्रॉप इन मूविंग ब्लेड इज इक्वल टू द इंक्रीज इन रिलेटिव वेलॉसिटी ऑफ स्टीम पासिंग थ्रू दी ब्लेड्स दैट वी नो हिट ड्रॉप अक्रॉस अ मूविंग ब्लेड इज नथिंग बट it that is increase of relative velocity across the moving blade so we are 2 square minus vr1 square by 2 okay that is half mv square which will be equal to per unit kg so half vr2 square minus vr1 square so the total heat drop in a stage will be addition of delta hf plus delta hm and which will be equal to work done in a stage that we know that is inverse momentum equation wherever that is work done will be total for particular stage so delta hf plus delta hm equal to blade velocity in bracket vw1 plus or minus vw2 so rd equal to that is degree of reaction equal to heat drop across moving blade divided by heat drop in a stage so first we calculate vr2 and vr1 in terms of theta and phi and then vw1 and vw2 in terms of theta and phi so consider this equation this is inlet velocity triangle and this is outlet velocity triangle okay for so i am considering sin theta since i need vr1 so i am considering sin theta equal to vf1 by vr1 sin theta equal to opposite side by hypotenuse so vf1 by vr1 so from this equation vr1 equal to vf1 by sin theta okay vr1 equal to vf1 by sin theta so what is 1 upon sin theta is nothing but cosec theta next sin phi equal to vf2 by vr2 so sin phi equal to vf2 by vr2 so similarly vr2 equal to vf2 by sin phi which will be equal to vf2 cosec phi now next so this is in terms of vr1 and vr2 what we require next vw1 and vw2 So what is tan phi, tan theta? If I consider this, tan theta equal to Vf1 by Vw1 minus u. So Vw1 minus u equal to Vf1 by tan theta. So Vw1 equal to Vf1 cot of theta. That is one upon tan is nothing but cot theta plus u. This will be plus. Similarly, tan phi equal to tan phi equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Vf2 by u2 plus vw2 so vw2 plus u equal to vf2 by tan phi so 1 upon tan phi is cot phi so plus here it becomes negative so vw2 equal to vf2 cot phi minus u next so vw1 plus vw2 if we add these two vf1 cot theta plus u plus vf2 cot theta so cot phi minus u Plus u and minus u will get cancelled. Final equation becomes v of one cot theta plus v of two cot phi. So here we are assuming that the velocity of flow is constant throughout the blade. So the axial velocity of steam will remain same. Then and then only the rotor speed will becomes I can say constant. Due to which we are considering v of one equal to v of two that is v of. So I am substituting these values. in uh, vr1 and vr2 and vw1 and vw2 in equation uh, that is degree of reaction so what i get we have 2 square cos x square phi minus cos x square theta dot vf1 square divided by 2 u vf1 cot theta plus vf2 cot phi now we have as common so we have square we have square taken as common so cos x square phi minus cos x square theta divided by 2u vf taken common 
in bracket cot theta plus cot phi so now vf vf will get cancelled only one vf will remain vf1 by 2u in bracket in this case we know cos x square theta can be expanded as cot square phi minus plus 1 minus of cos x square theta can be written as cot square theta plus 1 since at the denominator we have cot theta plus cot phi that's why we are making adjustment here so what require we have divided by 2u in bracket so this plus 1 and this minus 1 will get cancelled so what remains cot square phi minus of cot square theta so this is nothing but a square minus b square can be written as a plus b and a minus b so a plus b and a plus b that is cot phi plus cot theta will get cancelled what remains cot theta that is cot phi minus cot theta so rd equal to vf by 2u in bracket cot phi minus cot theta consider this as equation 6 so if the turbine is designed for 50 percent reaction okay in first slide we have discussed that generally the reaction turbines are 50 percent reaction turbine in that case if consider it is 50 percent then delta hf will be equal to delta hm that is 50 percent reaction so 50 percent that is 0.5 reaction the same equation vf by 2u in bracket cot phi minus cot theta so if i multiply this 2u to this 0.5 what i get 2 into 0.51 u equal to vf in bracket cot phi minus cot theta so also you can be written as in terms of phi and beta in the starting we have derived the equation in terms of phi and theta likewise if we derive in terms of cot phi phi and beta the equation will be u equal to vf in bracket cot phi minus cot beta and uh, u equal to vf cot alpha minus cot theta so if you compare these 7, 8 and 9 we can see that theta equal to beta so theta equal to beta and phi equal to alpha okay so which means that moving blade and fixed blades have the same shape if the degree of reaction is 50 percent so this can be another criteria that whenever you see the blades angles are equal that will be 50 percent reaction turbine or reaction turbine so this condition gives a symmetrical velocity diagram and this type of turbine is known as parsons reaction turbine so this is based on the scientist who have developed this so his name is parson so parsons reaction turbine so whenever you are asked for a reaction turbine and if it is mentioned parson turbine it is 50 percent reaction turbine by default and in that case theta equal to beta and phi equal to alpha so let us revise few formula so work done will be equal to vw1 plus vw2 into u that is newton meter per kg power m dot that is mass of steam into vw1 plus vw2 into u heat drop total heat drop will be equal to heat drop across fixed blade plus heat drop across moving blade so heat drop across move, uh, fixed blade will be v1 square by 2 and across moving blade we have to square minus v1 square by 2 so this is nothing but kinetic energy okay next for stage vw1 plus vw2 into u divided by enthalpy drop in stage volume flow rate that is q equal to area of flow into average velocity of flow that is vf1 plus vf2 by 2 generally if it, it is same okay so you can directly take vf next is mass flow rate of steam mass of steam equal to rho into q that is q by vs that is swift volume okay it can be calculated as x into vg that is saturated volume in meter cube per kg so vg can be found out from steam table so during this session you have understood the degree of reaction and its derivation thank you